The vice president came to Colorado at a time of deepening concern over water and the inability of regional states to agree to reduce demands on the Colorado River, where hydroelectric production downstream is threatened by prolonged drought. Vice President Harris told a community event in a Denver suburb that past federal policy did not sufficiently address conditions in western states. Federal policy around extreme weather and extreme climate had taken into account historically tornadoes and hurricanes, but hey, let's also think about how we're dealing with drought and wildfires and, and bringing to bear a perspective from western states around how it impacts this region of the country a bit differently from other regions of the country. She credited the impact of local action by state governors, including Colorado's Jared Polis. We like to think we're doing a lot right here in Colorado. We're pursuing bold climate action to protect the state we love, to save people money. Uh, we know that right here in Colorado, extreme drought threatens our agriculture, our recreation industry, uh, the situation around water in the West becoming more and more difficult. Vice President Harris also said she's traveling to Africa later this month to focus on climate resilience and adaptation. If a community or a particular geographic location is experiencing extreme drought over years and years, they cannot grow food. They will then leave that place to go somewhere where they can grow food. And they may go to a pl place that speaks a different language and prays to a different God, which invariably will lead to some degree of conflict. Fighting climate change has been a top priority for the administration, with legislation last year that expands wind and solar power, with the goal of reducing U.S. dependence on oil, coal, and natural gas. Scott Stearns, VOA News, Arfada, Colorado.